It is the 8th of the 11th, 2014, and this is your Radioactive Reality, day number 1,338. Not a lot's changed. Samey same. Any news? New York Times, doctor want to ban, want ban on thyroid cancer screenings, quote, a tsunami of thyroid cancer. Stop diagnosis. We need to actively discourage early detection. At least some South Korean doctors are saying that the thyroid cancer is being overly diagnosed due to everybody getting thyroid screen tests done after the Fukushima incident. And um, they're finding these teeny tiny little tumors and that's what's making the, the rate grow and nothing else. So uh, it's just better to stop testing. And they're encouraging U.S. doctors to do so. Uh, WSJ, judge rules nuclear reactor causing thyroid cancers. Study, Fukushima-related tumors can spread very fast, must be closely monitored. And uh, they've been doing a fabulous job so far, haven't they? Uh, emergency radiation testing used during Democratic and Republican conventions after Fukushima. Also for Obama inauguration. Seafood, meat, vegetables, water checked for nuclear waste, while top officials agree to publicly downplay the crisis. Of course, they turned the monitors off and they raised all our daily allowable cesium intake levels. 80% uh, of milk samples in Orlando, Florida had significant cesium-137. Get your daily allowable intake of cesium. And remember, that's just a marker. Uh, TV, this is really kind of scary. A grim reality for the West Coast. Alarm as baby whales keep dying. Since 2011, we have survived over... Uh, none have survived over a year. No new whales in the last few years. Biologists, we see them pregnant for weeks, then no longer pregnant. The NOAA, quote, not what we're used to. Incredibly poor condition. Skeleton with skin. Of course, because something's mysteriously killing everything along the west coast of the United States and Canada, working its way down to Mexico. But uh, we don't want to affect those tourist dollars, do we? Nuclear expert Fukushima is pretty close approximation of the China syndrome. Melted fuel cores burn through containment vessels as material is below reactor structures mixing with groundwater. How many times have I told you that? Essentially, it's a machine that's washing radioactivity into the sea. They built the Fukushima power plant over an old riverbed. Well, that river doesn't go away. It still flows underneath it, directly into the Pacific Ocean, pushing it out to sea, into the currents, and splashing it along the west coast of the United States and Canada. Where does our rain come from? Interesting. Mysterious phenomena off west coast. Fish disappeared. Whales nearly absent. No krill. High rates of egg failure along birds. California fishermen, quote, there's almost nothing there. Just a lot of warm, clear water. Take points, Dana. Take points, brother. Uh, food products heavily contaminated by Fukushima found in U.S. Over 30,000 PCI per kilogram of cesium. Also had cobalt-60 and some other things. The FDA, we found no Fukushima contamination in U.S. food supply during routine monitoring. Routine monitoring in this crisis. Yep, got to work on that budget, don't we? Sinkhole develops under dam in the United States. Seven nuclear reactors downstream. This is on the East Coast. Uh, water now seeping out. Governor notified of stability issue. Plant begins evaluating potential flood impacts. If that dam lets go, what's going to happen downriver? Uh, an uncommon occurrence. We're monitoring it continuously and working around the clock. Structure same height as Niagara Falls. 
Interesting. And that's about all I have new for you today. Um, if that tells you anything, the lack of news coming out in between my videos, just on this one side alone. Uh, the information they're putting out, they're suppressing what's really going on in Japan. The insanity continues and will continue, of course. If I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.